Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and I'm super excited because yet again, you guys, I am bringing to you another foundation review. Now, I kind of just confused myself because I want to pull this up so I'd have all the deedly deets on it on the um, Ulta website here, and here's the problem. It says it's not available, like it hasn't it hasn't come to the website yet, but like, I bought it from there. So this is the Pure 4-in-1 Foundation Stick. Um, this has been all the craze because Pure collaborated with BoxyCharm and they sent some influencers to somewhere that I don't remember, like Hawaii or some like beautiful tropical place. I don't know, but that's where all of this kind of became the rage, and that's where they introduced this foundation stick right around that time. So some influencers have been trying it out now for like a month to two months and kind of saying like, do they love it? Do they not? And I gotta be honest, you guys, I've talked about this before. Um, in actually the one of the most recent uh, get ready with me's I did, where I told you guys I've been playing around with my hourglass vanishing stick because I saw that this uh, this stick right here as well as some other brands were putting out a foundation stick and I realized that I really needed to figure out you know what I love about them what I hate about them and kind of reacquaint myself with that stick in particular because it's the one I had in my drawer so um, I've been doing that so I kind of know like what I love what I hate and I've explained that talked about that a little bit with you guys for that one so I kind of wanted to come on here and start playing with this guy a little bit on camera um, and of course as you guys know I will definitely be doing an update on this because it's a foundation stick and these are a very interesting breed. These are like the Walla Beast anteater thing of the foundation world. Like they're weird, they're different, they're like they're like that thing that people are like, what the hell? I love it, I don't. They're very polarized in the makeup community. That was probably a really poor anteater Walla Beast. That was probably a really poor way to, whatever. You know what I'm saying. So, you guys, I just kind of want to dive into it today um, and play around with it a little bit. I'll be doing about a seven to eight hour wear test, which I think is pretty decent, especially for like one of these to kind of go in and see what we think. So, um, in my last foundation review video, one of you guys actually said that you liked the idea of me going in with two different primers just to see if it made a difference, if it didn't. And I thought because this is a stick foundation and it's weird like already, why not? So, so on one half of my face, I'm going to do it the exact same way I did before with the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For, which I think that that's focused. I don't know. And then on the other side, we're going to go in with the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. Again, this is more of like a water-based esque situation where this is more of a silicone dimethicone base so this one is meant to keep you matte and kind of smooth over and in your pores well this one is meant a little bit more for the hydrating side of things so I think it'll be kind of cool to do you know one side this side one side over here and see if that makes a difference or not now as far as what this says on the Ulta website and again I apologize because I thought these had already launched because I did buy mine from Ulta like a week and a half ago but maybe they just had like a pre-sale or something I don't know but this uh, foundation stick is $34, and it's actually really cute here. Why don't I actually take it out of the box? That'd be cool. Kill. That'd be so kill, dude. So this is the packaging. As you can see, it has the name Pure on it right there, but it has like this really nice, like, is this eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it has a very nice octagonal. Before I said octagon, I didn't want some people to be like, girl, that's not octagon. Where'd you learn how to tell your sides? But it does have really beautiful packaging. It is a twist up, and according to the website, you get... 0.3 ounces, which is correct here. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. I picked this up in the shade Porcelain, which is the second darkest shade. And the reason I grabbed it in the second darkest is because the lightest one, I didn't have hardly any swatches to compare it to. So I just kind of was like, oh, Porcelain. The other one looks like it could be a little bit too light, which I don't know why I would think that, but neither here nor there. I do want to swatch it, though, against the Hourglass Stick. This is in the shade Alabaster. And this shade, shh, I'm very busy. This shade is actually a little bit too light for me. So I actually, wow, those are very sim What is wrong with you people? Do you not hear me when I say I am busy? But as you can see, this down here, this is the vanishing stick and this is the pure stick. So these are actually very similar in color. It looks like the... Um, the pure stick might have a little bit more of a pink undertone to it. I don't know, maybe if I hold it back here, you can see a little bit, but like honestly, b very, very similar. I do just kind of want to swatch them out a little bit, like move them around with my finger. It feels like the vanishing stick might be a little bit creamier, but overall, they both feel pretty blendable. And if I blend them together, Honestly, they're both dang near the same color. Like, I mean, you can't hardly tell the difference. So, if you are um, alabaster in the hourglass, you very well might be porcelain in this one. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna find out because in two, it this one looks darker. Anyways, 
doesn't matter. You guys, Paige, move, move your life along. So, according to the uh, good old Alta, Alta, Alta website here, I don't know why there were so many Altas, there are 24 shades that this was released in, um, and actually the, the shade range doesn't look the worst, um, but I also am not seeing them in person, so I'm not going to claim that they're good either, because I, I don't know. Um, let's see what it says in the description. It says that this is a 4-in-1 foundation stick. It is a cream to velvet matte stick that creates a flawless, flawless illusion. The 4-in-1 medium to full coverage foundation can be used as a highlighter or contour cream and is enclosed in a sleek octagonal stick. <laughs> told ya, and helps you look fabulous from all angles. It is formulated with age-defying keratin complex and skin-nourishing energy complex to help color correct and brighten the appearance of uneven skin tone. Well, there's something we can test out. Um, okay, it brightens the appearance, blah, 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 reduce the look of pores and dullness and protects against environmental stressors. Um, okay, it's a 360 degree complexion perfection. Well, now isn't that some cute rhyming, biming? Now let's just put some on a facey wacy shall we? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to prime on this side with my Peter Thomas Roth, because y'all know this is, this is what's hooking a girl up right here. I use this all the time, and I've told you this before as well, but if you're new to my channel, hi, thanks for being here. Um, and if you're not, well, then you know that I'm kind of crazy, but I have used both of these before. I do have very oily uh, skin. I'm prone to oily, I should say. Um, with my tumor, though, it does kind of vary from day to day. One day I can be more oily than the next, uh, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I do, however, use the... Um, that Hangover RX sometimes if I feel like, like maybe just my face is a little bit dull, maybe I feel like it needs a good drink. I feel like there is a place in my world as an oily skinned person for this primer, and now I like to use it for reviews as well. So I'm just going to take some of that and kind of smear it on the face. This one, this primer specifically kind of settles into the skin a little bit more, I would say, than the Dimethicone one does, or the, the Peter Thomas Roth one. Um, mainly, I think, just because, again, it's like a coconut water infused type situation, but they are both very different primers, make no mistake. So they both have different claims. They would both ultimately, possibly, p potentially have different situations that they would yield. So now that that is on our face, we are going to go in with this beauty stick. And I am beauty stick foundation stick. And I'm so excited for this, you guys, because honestly, I'm, I just, there's something about a foundation stick that is quick and easy, but at the same time, it's so perplexing to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start on this side. I'm going to give myself three, oh wow, oh god, why? Ha! You guys, it's scratchy. Why is it scratchy? Um, it, okay, I don't, okay, hold on. Do you see that? Is that not the weirdest? It's like, it looks like dirt. And it's gritty. Just as like a comparison, look at how smooth the triangle one is over there. That's the vanish stick. It looks like this one has sand in it. Why does it have sand in it? You guys, at this point, it literally feels like an exfoliation stick. And I wish I was kidding. Um, it's not smooth nor creamy. It is um, quite uncomfortable. Um, however, we are going to soldier on past that. Now, because this is a foundation stick, I will be going in primarily with my beauty blender uh, or my, you know, my faux beauty blender, I guess, because that's just, I, I don't have much luck with um, using brushes and foundation sticks. Okay, there's no coverage there. What is going on in my life? I just tried to blend in both sides, and I feel like I didn't get any coverage. Okay, let's go in with some more. You guys, it literally feels like it's taking off a layer of my skin. I know what you're probably thinking. Then Paige, quit putting it on. I can't. In the name of, of makeup, I cannot. Okay, you guys, that's like, that's quite a bit, right? Like, I'm going to buff that in, and we're going to see, because it feels so scratchy. Like, is it? I don't know why. So now we're getting a little bit of coverage. Okay. Okay, the coverage was a lot better. It's still definitely not full. I do agree with the fact that it is medium, or I'm sorry, medium to buildable. I'm just, at this point, I'm not going to say that it's, maybe, should I like take some of this off? Like, like I just scraped a layer off. Is it nicer now? Okay, it's a little bit nicer now that I took like a tiny little layer off. Ah, why? You guys, this is so weird. Maybe this is why they recalled them. Maybe they realized that like they couldn't sell them because there was sand in them. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing I've ever said. <laughs> okay, seriously, you guys. Nope, that didn't help. I lied. There's still a lot of grit in this. Is there supposed to be grit? There must be something wrong with mine. 
I love that I just asked you guys and you literally don't know anything more than I do at this point, more than likely. If you do, please comment down below. So you guys, grit aside, um, I think it's building up okay. I'm not at this point uh, seeing the claim where it says that it minimizes pores. I'm not seeing that yet. I do think that the coverage built up pretty nice though. So that's a plus, I guess, right? Let's go with that. Sorry, you guys, I'm pulling real orange right now, and I don't want to pull that, that weird looking. But so far, I think it looks pretty good. It looks a little bit, like, dusty, cakey, like you can tell that there might be gravel infused. Okay, I promise, I'm done with that now. Um, it's just, it's so weird to me. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to conceal, and I'm going to just treat this like it was any other foundation. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and grab some Costilla. I'm thinking some shape tape because you know a girl loves herself some shape tape. So far, the shape tape is blending in very nicely. Okay, so I mean, it's not ridiculous. It's looking kind of, kind of funny, but at this point in the game, a lot of things look kind of funny on my face. I'm not going to lie, like it's getting, it looks kind of, um, it reminds me of the Marc Jacobs, like, that Shameless Foundation, how it looks kind of kind of cakey, but, like, it's not cakey, but it's kind of patchy, but it's not really patchy. It's hard to describe, um, and honestly, I don't ever bring this part of the face in because I don't want to judge it, because I have had foundations that look really, like, a lot like this, like that Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation, that actually wear really beautifully. So now we're going to go in with some Maybelline uh, Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 05 Fair. All right, and we got the concealed area set with this, and then I go in with the Cody Airspun a little bit, and I set the rest of my face with this, uh, again, just because I am super duper oily, and my face really likes the Airspun, so I'm going to go ahead and set with that. Okay, guys, so, so far we are good in Caspered, and I'm actually going to jump over. I'm going to film another video, and um, I will come back on here when this is all done. We're going to see how it is, how it's wearing, all that good stuff. And we're just going to kind of go from there, and we're going to feel out the situation for this pure stick. And um, I might do a little Googling to find out, like, what, what the situation is on the, on the dirt in the stick. So I will be back in a little while, and we will chat about all of this. All right, you guys, so I have on the rest of my makeup, and again, um, I know, it's a lot, but you will have either seen or will be seeing the rest of this, but I have to say, hello, I look beautiful, sexy, but that's not what we're talking about right now. As far as this foundation, you guys, it has been on my face so far for about three hours. I've been filming for a while. It is not, like, it's very cakey on the face so far, and again, you guys, I don't know... I don't know what's going on here. I feel like it's very chunky, and I, I can't help but... I, I'm going to let it wear, obviously, throughout the rest of the day. I'm going to come back here in probably now only four or five hours, and we're going to kind of... We're going to feel it out together, but I just feel like it's really settling and just... Ugh. But again, we're going to give it its time. Every dog gets its day. We're going to see how it wears, if I like it, and um, give some final thoughts on it um, overall. So I will check in with you guys here in a few hours and we're going to obviously check over all of this, see what we think. Did one side wear better than the other? Do we like it? Do we not? But right now, and I don't know if it's just because I had to build it up or what the situation is, but as of right now, I'm not obsessed. So we're going to come back in a little while and we're going to see what we think and get up close and be uncomfortable and all that good stuff. So I will see you guys here in a little while um, to kind of feel this whole thing out. Okay, guys. So I feel like I have to whisper. <laughs> But seriously, you guys, um, remember earlier in this video when I told you that, um, wow, I am like whispering, but in my brain, I'm being really loud. Why, you ask? Because it is almost 1 a.m. I know, I know. You guys, I am a recluse. I don't leave my home, and I just went to visit some friends, and before I knew it, it was very late. So when I told you this would be a seven to eight hour wear test, just kidding, we're at like 12 13-ish hours. And I started filming late today, and I was like, there's no way I'll have enough time to do a foundation test. Girl, you lied. So the first thing we're going to talk about, you guys, the first thing we're going to talk about is that this foundation made me eat my damn words, and I wish I was kidding. I got up close and personal with my face just now, and I fully anticipated to look like the antithesis of just absolute trash and my face looks really good for this long um the first thing I will draw attention to is that from side to side and I'll give you guys a close-up obviously because like what are we doing you guys my lipstick I don't even know 
for as long as this has been on my face, I am pretty like, what's the word? Like I'm, it's broke up through here for sure. Um, my nose is pretty oily right now. However, this is all the oil from the entire day on my nose. There is almost, there's very little to no oil on my forehead and very little to none on my chin, none on the sides of my face, either side. So what I will say is that I don't honestly, I think that this was a very nicely mattified primer, first of all, like, or mattified foundation primer. My God, clearly I need to go to bed. Um, like, it stayed very nice and true matte. But what really shocks me about this foundation, probably more than anything, is that one side was not more oil resistant than the other. And again, if you remember, I used the Peter Thomas Roth on this side and the uh, Too Faced, um, hangover rx primer on this side so i fully anticipated you know the side of my skin to somehow maybe get more blotchy or more broken up or more oily or something along those lines because this side had the more oil resistant and um silicone based primer which for me usually is more oil controlling and i'm actually really pleasantly surprised like the plane right here of my face looks beautiful on both sides, for the most part, I would say this side had a little more real acne peeking through, so I don't hold it against, you know, that part of it. But overall, you guys, I'm really impressed. What gets me, and the reason I say that this foundation made me eat my words, before I left in that last clip, I distinctly remember saying, this is cakey, it's not going to look good. And I looked at my face at like our 5, 6-ish, and it looked beautiful like airbrushed beautiful under the eyes it looked beautiful on the skin it looked beautiful like it looked stunning at five or six hours and I was like wow I didn't anticipate that and then throughout the night as it progressed I'm just continuously wowed by how like beautiful this looks I don't want to keep screwing around I'm gonna pull you guys in I really want you guys to see the up close and just keep in mind that this has been on for like 12 13 hours which is way longer than any foundation should be on so let's just zoom in so let's start off by giving you kind of a head-on comparison here. Um, you can see this side, of course, over here is the uh, Peter Thomas Roth. This side over here is the Hangover RX. So, I mean, as far as, like, overall pores look, I'd say that both sides look about the same. The amount of oil on both sides is about the same, not that you can really see that on camera. Um, if we go to the forehead, also about the same. I mean, I feel like the texture is about the same. This guy, he got, he got a little hungry. He had a little foundation snack, but nothing worse than I've seen before. Um, quite a significant amount of breakage in here, which isn't unusual for me because I'm very expressive. Um, and then again, foundation breakage around the mouth. Pretty common for me. Oh, I like that. That looks good. The lips are looking so good, you guys. <laughs> Let's make out. Um, seriously, though, not bad at all. We did have it settling into these lines on both sides of my mouth pretty early on. But other than that, I think that this looks pretty nice. I think this looks pretty nice. Like, I am damn impressed. So overall, you guys, because this is a first impression, um, the first thing I'm going to tell you is that I definitely think that there is something to this foundation. I'm still not 100% on if there's something wrong with mine or not because I feel like it shouldn't be gritty like that's really bothering me did I do the research I wanted to do no because I had a migraine and I didn't want to do it because I was like my head's already pounding I'm not I'm not reading on the computer um but what I I think my cats wait and I think my cat waits until I come in here to make noise you done Overall, you guys, this kind of, this gets my seal. Like, this looks beautiful. I'm really impressed, and it actually photographed really nicely, too, which was awesome. So, you guys, as of right now, for a first impression, I will definitely keep wearing it, and I'll keep you guys apprised of the goings-on. And again, please don't forget that if you know something I don't know about why this is crunchy, or maybe why it's not on the Ulta website, please leave it down below, because I would love to know what I just spread all over my face. Was it gravel? Was it dirt? Was it cat litter? Was it used cat litter, you guys? hook a girl up and please do not forget to comment like and subscribe down below if you have not already i really appreciate it and it helps makes it so i can kind of keep bringing you guys these videos because we keep the channel growing we keep things moving you get what i'm saying you guys have a great day night week on whatever it is when you're watching this and i will see you in the next one do -do 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 -do. it's so late but it's so good looking so unexpected why is it crunchy